Good morning, church family. I hope your week is off to a great start. You know, God blessed us yesterday with a wonderful day of worship and Bible study and service to Him. And it was capped off by Trinity putting on Christ in baptism. What an awesome thing. Our young people had an awesome retreat weekend. I tell you, God is at work here at West End, and I am excited to be a part of this church family. I know that you are as well. In this video this morning, we're going to review or talk about a preview the week ahead of devotional thoughts as we continue this 30 Days Grateful series that Billy has put together for us. And I, I want to, if you noticed yesterday, I preached a sermon from uh, like one of the days of, of these devotional thoughts. And that's what I'm going to continue to do throughout November. And my hope is that some of the things I present in the lesson are things perhaps you've already studied that resonate with you, or maybe things you had not thought about when you went through that study. If you haven't picked up one of these books yet, you still have time to do that. We ordered some more. They're out there. And you don't have to do this just in November. The other thing I love seeing is that people are out there. You're posting things out on social media, quotes from the book. Please continue to do that because it's resonating with people. They're loving this stuff. And I want to continue to see that happen. So as we preview the week ahead, we begin this week looking at 10 reasons that we are grateful. Ten reasons that I am grateful. And Billy lays out some really cool things in the first five studies. And the first three of those really kind of center around God's love and sacrifice. And on day 15 is just a reminder to us of just how awesome it is. And we should be grateful for the fact that God sent His Son to die for us. Jesus is that ultimate sacrifice. He is he's the, the plan that happened at the right time. And how awesome that is that God loves us that way. Which turns into day 16 where we're reminded that God's love is forever and that the ultimate demonstration of His love for you is the gift of Jesus on the cross. That is a, a sobering thought as Billy kind of lays out some of the things that happen there at the cross and reminds us of that. And day 17 is a reminder that it's a, a one-time sacrifice that can forgive sins for all time. And that's, that's just a mind-blowing idea. But then our response to that is to be uh, those who are, are willing to have penitent hearts, to live in repentance. And there's a phrase that he includes on this day that, man, it just resonated with me when I read it. I underlined it. I highlighted it. You probably will as well. And it's in regard to repentance. And he includes this phrase, humility is the soil in which repentance grows. We talked about having humble hearts yesterday. And that is a necessity if we're going to develop grateful hearts. Because sometimes Pride can just really get in the way. And so my hope is that when you read that phrase in the context that Billy writes it in, it's going to hit home with you, and it's going to encourage you to have a more grateful heart. So day 18 kind of switches gears a little bit, and, and Billy shares with us lots of facts about how you got the Bible that you have in your hands. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Not really even the tip of the iceberg. It's the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg because there's so much more involved in that. And if you want to know more, there's resources that Billy and I can point you towards that will really just blow your mind as far as what God has done to make sure that we have the Word of God today. And as a supplement to this, at some point, maybe next year, maybe it's a study you want to really engage in, I'd encourage you to read the 119th Psalm. That is a psalm that is entirely about the Word of God. It's, it's really found right in the middle of your Bible, too. That's pretty neat. It's, the, it's a very long psalm, I know, but it's all about the Word of God. And if you'll notice, it's divided into sections with these words at the top of each of those sections. Those are all the Hebrew alphabet. And so when you read through that, really the design of the psalm is the ABCs of God's Word for me. That's what it is. And so it's really awesome. It talks about how awesome God's Word is, how it should resonate with us. And so I encourage you to engage in that study of Psalm 119 at some point to gain a better appreciation of just what God has provided for us. And then day 19, as we finish out this week of devotional studies, um, we finish with thinking about I, perhaps the thing for Christians we should be most grateful for uh, besides the death of Jesus and His resurrection, and that is the hope, the eternal hope we have of a place called heaven, right? Every day we can live, regardless of whether the day is good or bad, regardless of whether the circumstances are awesome or way less than awesome, because we have hope that God has prepared a place for us where we will be in His presence for all time, for all eternity. Uh, we are reminded the sufferings of this present age cannot compare to the glory that is to be revealed to us. And so I hope that every day, especially as you read this devotional this week, it will encourage you. There's some really neat observations that he quotes from an author about, so some quick observations about heaven that I think will encourage you 
in your walk for him. So the challenges this week are really neat. We'll talk more about those on Thursday, but I invite you to, to engage in those challenges all throughout the week. And one of those is to write a note to somebody in public office. We don't often think about, in fact, right now, a lot of people are finding reasons to blame and, and be mad at those folks. And we got a lot of folks at the local level that do a good job. And it'd be really wonderful to support them and to encourage them uh, during a difficult season. So if you feel compelled to do that, do that. There are other suggestions in there, and like I said, I'll talk about those on Thursday. Hope you have an awesome week. Look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, either online or in person, and God bless.